you guys are going to blind rank these NFL wide receivers. And it's the history of the NFL. I got eight wide receivers here. Blind rank them, starting with Tyreek Hill. Oh. And these are all-time wide receivers. How many are we getting? Top ten? Eight. Eight? Oh, I'm sorry. Tyreek Hill's got to be towards the end of the list, right? If all we're, time? If we're doing I mean, all time. He hasn't so, accomplished much yet. Okay. Are we going off accomplishments? Yes. Is that what Derek said? Yes. Okay. Accomplishments. What's he have? He had a couple of, what, one or two Super Bowls? Basing it off everything. One Super Bowl. One because, the yeah, the Chiefs won back-to-back without him. Yeah. And you're if basing you're, it off their prime, their accomplishments, their career, their stats. He's got to be six or seven. Their ability to play? Yeah. There's what do you mean people. by that? Like how good they are. Yeah, how the, like the good prime. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's had the prime. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I feel like he's got to be towards the end. What do you think? I think we could go six. Six? Okay. okay. I don't know if there's going to be two players on this list worse than him. No, I don't know if they're – bro, I think we should go seven. But are there going to be two players? Think if he gives us Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson don't have a ring, but he's still better than Tyreek. You're putting Justin Jefferson over Tyreek? Uh, I don't know. I would put him below Tyreek just uh, in the list. Personally, I would put Tyreek over JJ. Okay, go six. Go six. We'll go six. And if there's one guy that's like, ah, damn, he's definitely better, we'll go six or we'll go seven with yeah. him and be like, ah, All right. we fucked that one. All right, Tyreek six. Um,. I will give you guys, if you want to research certain player nah. stats. Nope. Because you might not nope. know these guys' stats Off at all. Off the hizzy. Off the hizzy. Next name, Steve Smith. Steve Smith, senior. Yeah, not junior. Ice up, son. Ah, Steve Smith was a dog. Greatest trash talker as a wide receiver. Does he have bulls? I think he's got one with the Patriots. No, he don't got one with the Patriots. Let me look it up. I mean, I, I said Patriots, Ravens. I'm tripping. Was he on that Ravens team with Jacoby? No. So, he has comeback player of the year, two Pro Bowls, or five Pro Bowls, two All-Pros, no Super Bowl. So, is he one of them two guys that are below Tyree? Nah, bro. Steve, Steve Smith had a much longer career, so he played a full career compared to Tyreek's, what, five seasons so far? Only yeah, had in one. In five seasons, Tyreek has a bowl, and... He played with Patrick. What? Only yeah. had one season with double-digit touchdowns. Steve, Steve Smith behind Tyreek is crazy, I think. I don't know. Go ahead. We you could put it. him at five. You say it. We could put him you at say five. where you want to put him. No. I, I want to get you flamed because I, I don't inputs. know. I want both inputs. <laughs> I don't know. I want you to get flamed. <laughs> <laughs> we could put him at five and say so you just why like, I was saying you guys research so you have some backup. I want to research. Say, okay, all right. <laughs> five. Five. put him at five. <laughs> Tyreek's behind him if he's at five. But, then, at are, seven, then. but then are you going to get flamed for Tyreek being behind Steve You Smith? tell me. I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> you it's want, both of us. You we want about five we are seven. both getting. How many forward. thousand yard seasons Steve Smith got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He got more than Tyreek. He's five. Been in the league. Eight He's out five. of his sixteen years. Fifty-fifty. He's five. He's ahead of Tyreek. Okay, all time too. Hold so on, this, hold is, on. this, this is this is all time. Look, this is all time. I want to look one thing up. So to go you're with thinking that. if Tyreek Hill ended his career today. Would he be higher ranked than no. Steve Smith? Yeah, no, That's basically he's five. what you're okay. yeah. we're basing it off. Yeah, so, when you said it like that, my brain just went ding. No, he's not. How many Pro Bowls did Steve Smith? Five. Have? Okay. Tyreek five Pro is Bowls. Eight time Pro Bowl. One no, time special pro, pro, I'm sorry. Two. Not Pro Bowl. Two. Pro Bowl don't matter. Two. Tyreek's five times all pro. Steve Smith's two. How many all listen, now Tyreke listen to this. Out of his what is that? I'm gonna give you guys some help here. Go ahead. He has eight seasons. He's had six How many over touchdowns? A thousand. Give me his touchdowns. It's 70 something, high in the 70s. 76. Steve Smith, 81. Steve Tyree. Smith has 81 in his whole Steve career. Steve Smith is seven. You know what I mean? Steve so Smith is seven. Steve Smith has. It was a different league when Steve Smith played, yeah, too, though. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's going to matter in our ranking, though. Yeah, he's seven. So, then. I mean, how many total yards does Tyreek have? 10K? 10,139. On how many receptions? On seven, seven 17 receptions. Yep. Steve Smith, 1,031 receptions on 1,400, 700, or 14,000, 14,731 yards and 81 touchdowns. Yeah, give me Tyreek. 16 years it took you to get 14,000. Tyreek has it in eight. He has 10,008. Yeah. And how and many Tyreek games? has, how many games does it say? 124 games. 
Yeah. 124 to, compared to 219. Plus the Smith A7. Shaq has eight seasons and six have been over a thousand. We're only holding the A spot because it might be somebody like current, but there Steve might Smith be, some, might there be, might be somebody trash. Yeah, Steve yeah, Smith could be eight, but. Give you a hint. There's not going to be a uh, bum. There's no like Curtis Chase Samuel. Claypool. Yeah, there's no okay, Curtis okay. Samuel. Plus Steve no... Smith has seven. Yeah. Okay. Next name. Leave it on Dante. Next name, Julio Jones. Ooh. Ooh. Julio definitely above him. I mean, Julio didn't How get a ball. How far above him? Uh, dude, Julio probably somewhere around three or four. I mean, you, less touchdowns than both of those. I'm going to compare him on That's football football because Matt Ryan don't know quick. how to throw touchdown passes to Julio Jones. That ain't no Julio. He has 1,000 less yards on basically 100 Tyreek's less catches. Tyreek's close in games, though. Give Tyreek like two more seasons. He'll have the same amount of games played. So we got put Julio at four. I think Julio's good at four. Four. Tyreek has more touchdowns. And then it gives you like their Julio or returns and shit. In terms of receiving. Prime for prime, Julio's. I mean, you're not going. This In is terms everything. of receiving everything. stats, Julio's better. Dude, we can't put Julio at eight. No, no. So he has to go but at I'm least trying five. To think, so we're thinking, though, it's kind of close. Like, yeah. yeah, receiving yards is 13,000 to 10,000. Receptions is 900 to 700. Yards per reception is 15 to 14. But is there going to be players that are, like, way better than Julio? I'm not trying to base it on Tyreek. I mean, you're looking on at, how close you're looking at AB, Jerry Rice, Randy Moss, Terrell Owens. Like, what those we, are the... What if all four of them are there and we put Julio at four? Who do we put Then put below? Julio at five. I'm just saying. Put Julio at five. We can put, we can put Julio at four. No, no, five. Do five. Okay, he's at five. Next name, Nelson Aguilar. Huh. Next <laughs> name. Mohamed Sinu. No. Man, I was about to fight you. <laughs> Next name, Calvin Johnson. Oh. Ooh, you didn't Nikes. name that guy in there, so. I was just naming, like, <laughs> randoms. I wasn't naming, like, the greatest or anything. Yeah. I'm like, those dudes are on a the list there above Julio. Um, Calvin's probably two. Julio has better receiving stats. Than Calvin? Than Calvin. Mm. Ah, he played longer. <laughs> Bro, Calvin only played, he does, what, eight years? Like he does have what 31, about per more, games? 31 more games played. Calvin, like, two, bro. Stop doing research, man. Just put it down. Julio's got seven Pro Bowls. Put to the six, phone down. Put the phone down. Thought we were doing research. No, man. You, you said off the hizzy. I did say off the hizzy. Two. Two. Two for Calvin Three? Jo- three? three? Two? You think it's two people out there? That's what if we get AB and fucking Jerry Rice? Yeah, I'm not putting AB over Calvin. Two and a half? <laughs> That's wild. I don't know. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know either. We can put him at two and a half. This is a hard game. <laughs> All right, 2B. So what is he? Two. 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 Okay, we'll put him two. Megatron, two. Next name, Next Antonio name. Brown. Antonio Brown. Fuck. Three. <laughs> he wants him one. You want him three. three. I'm holding on for Randy Moss or Jerry Rice, bro. I think, yeah, we have to. <sighs> Randy or Jerry is on this list. But are they? Yes, they are. <laughs> I know Derek. Yes. Three, Antonio know. Brown. We got four, one, and two. What you got? You got you, if you put them at three, you got one, four, and eight. Left. One, four, and eight. Okay. All right. You put, put them at three? Put them three. Three. <laughs> These motherfuckers. Do you think? Yeah. Next name. Terrell Owens. Four. Four. Four? It's gotta be four. four. Dude, yes. T.O. T.O. is top three, four of all time, bro. Yeah. yeah. I think we fucked ourselves putting Megatron at two. Please don't say Marvin Harrison. Please don't say Marvin Harrison. Next name. Please don't say Marvin Harrison. The thousand yard master Mike Evans. Eight. Eight. He's gotta be. <laughs> that we can't put him one. Yeah, he can't be one. Well, please be one. Randy, Jerry, or Marvin. Please. Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. Larry is the last one on this list. <laughs> I forgot about him too. So all time, you got Larry Fitzgerald as the best receiver out of these eight. Blindly. Dude, we did Blindly. so bad. <laughs> if you okay, would have put Antonio so- Brown one, that would have made your list way better because you probably would have had AB one and then Mega- TO, AB, and three and four and Mike Evans last. And that would have been a good list. Okay, a so can we list. go through really quick and build the list how we would put it with seeing Don't the take players? once, too. Look at him. He's so uh, we did so bad. <laughs> He's so destructive. <laughs> we did so we bad. Had. The receivers, so, there's so many. Yeah. Oh, my God, we did so bad on that. 
Okay, so realistically, out of these players, who we put number one out of all? Megatron or Antonio, in my opinion. Uh, It's got to be. I'll do it with you guys since now you're actually. I, don't I know think if you I'm have putting AB over Megatron. You might have to put AB because he played longer. So, oh shit! Nah, I'm putting Terrell Owens at one. For, at one. Look up To's stats. All right. Look up. To we were going stats. off to his. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> well, now we're actually doing it. He said, yeah, "I thought we're his. going off." We're doing it with knowledge of who the players are after him are. So To has basically sixteen thousand yards and one hundred and fifty three touchdowns on two hundred and nineteen games played. That is actually insane. <laughs> That's why I said look up to your staff, bro. Um, he did play almost 100 more than Calvin. I mean, Calvin, yeah, had, Calvin had a very short career. I mean, he played 135 to 219. What difference is that? 70-ish games? Oh, more than that. Yeah, 80. 80. How many more seasons is that? And Calvin Johnson has almost 12,000 compared yeah, to T.O.'s. Above AB. Yeah, I told compared you. Compared to Wait, T.O.'s they 16. they played each other? Keep going real quick. Caught, gotcha. Um, T.O. and A.B. played each other regular season? 2010 was uh, T.O.'s last season, right? Yeah, I don't know. So T.O.'s last season was with Cincinnati in 2010. Was A.B.? I don't, it says Antonio Brown was 1-0 and against T.O. head-to-head regular season. So they wouldn't have played twice. When did, when did Antonio Brown get in the league? I, no way, it was 2010. Was it? 2010? So that was his rookie season. He played nine games in 2010? Yeah, T.O. played 14 games in 2010. So he must have missed the first Bengals game, one of the two. Mm -hmm. And then they both played against each other in the other one. That's crazy. Hey, A.B.'s 1-0 head-to-head with uh, T.O. all the time. I'm taking A.B. Just kidding. So he said he wants T.O. 1. I don't know if you guys can see how green T.O.'s side of the board is on this. I don't think you can, but, but it's, it's pretty damn green. It's all on TO's side. TO's everything except for punt and kick returns because well TO never had a punt return and only had five kick returns. So you put TO one. You go on Megatron or A B two. Oh. You want an A B two. I think he wants Megatron two. I think it's cl- it's close. I don't know. Like Calvin Johnson, his prime is better than anyone's, I think. Yeah, and in the right team right scenario I mean I'm not saying he was on the wrong team but his team was not very good no um, so we put Calvin? we yeah. put T.O. 1 Calvin 2 so we're trying Calvin to discuss Calvin and A.B. That. are very close that was so A.B. played 11 more games um, he had 200 more receptions 1,000 that's like 800 more yards or 600 more yards uh, Megatron had Two more yards per reception. They had the same amount of receiving That's a lot. touchdowns that adds up over time. in their career. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Calvin above AB for two reasons. Who do you think is better all time, Matt Stafford or Big Ben? Big Ben. Big Ben. Who do you think had better teams? Big Ben. AB. Yeah. AB played with Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, I said. <laughs> and they had no running game, no other receiver on Detroit. And Calvin was. I mean, there's pictures of three people lined up on Calvin. Yeah. So that's I gotta put Calvin. Second. Is it three? I know it's two. No, 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 no. There was one. There of three. is a legitimate picture with three people standing in front of Calvin Johnson, and Luke is crying. <laughs> he got punched in the ear. Yeah, His I, equilibrium. I, I want stuff. Calvin second personally. That's just me. Yeah, we can I'm fine with that. And then so you got. I, I like that. AB. It's so be hard third. to argue for me though because AB, if he doesn't go crazy, yeah, doesn't his lose prime, his mind. His he was is, on pace to. Beat every record yeah. that, that Jerry held. Yeah, he was he like, was on pace to be Jerry insane. minus Super Bowls. Yeah. yeah, well, maybe with Super Bowls, if the team could have pulled their head out of their ass. Right, but, I think know. AB has to be third for sure. I agree. I'm, I'm okay with. But that. he has a good argument for second, though. I'm not. Yeah. I, I'm not sitting here acting like he couldn't be second. He has a really good argument for two. Yeah, you flip flop him, and no one's gonna. I don't think make a, No one's gonna say the list is trash. Steelers fans are mad. Yep. Detroit fans are mad. Yep. That's it. Um, and I ain't that mad. Next at number four, I mean, at this point you got you got Tyreek, Larry Fitz, Julio, Steve Smith, and Mike Evans. It might be Larry Fitz. I think Larry and then Julio. Larry Julio, yeah. I like that. Damn. Do you not like that? Um, Would you go flip the other way? Julio I just think it, it does suck because I did put Tyreek Hill and he's so young right now still. Um, I 
think eventually he could be above. Oh, if, if Tyreek yeah. does everything he needs to do, he could end up being probably in the same argument as AB and Megatron on this list. Larry but, Fitz's stats don't jump out to you. It was just longevity for the most part. He played really like he's like LeBron. Um, <laughs> he just played. Forever. He played at a, a high level. A high level for a long time. Yeah, so he was very consistent throughout his career. That's the biggest thing, um, because he played fucking almost a hundred more games than than some of these players, and didn't have that crazy amount more yards. I mean, than you them. know how hard it is to compare on, on this list, even the blind blind ranking. Well, the blind ranking is hard. It is, you guys did pretty good, actually. So it was Larry Fitz to Tyreek, though. Yeah, like, Larry tough. Fitz played so long. Tyreek's yeah, yeah. played eight years. Like, yeah, that's an incredibly hard thing. Right. To, like, who is the better? Just oh. flat out all time receiver, everything included. It's it, it's almost impossible to tell. And um, Calvin's catch. I'm sorry, Calvin's catch was over three people. I it was wasn't three people lined, lined up. up. There yeah. is pictures of them two people lined up over Calvin. That was versus the Saints. There yep. was two people standing yep. right in front. But they the did catch multiple times. Was actually. three people that he yep. caught the ball over that. Like, they threw it up to him, fuck it, he down there somewhere, and he came down with that it. That was the line. I'm not mad at the Larry at four. Um, I think you can argue Tyree Kill over Julio Jones. Oh, are you getting spicy now? You I can think, argue it. I you think can. you can. So, you can argue me over a fucking Big Ben. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he has more touchdowns than him. Um, way less receptions and almost, I mean, he's better yards per reception, right? I, I mean, for know. a long time, it was it was A, B, and Julio. Like, yeah, that was for the sure. argument. And so the I, only thing for Julio was he couldn't get in the end zone. Yep. And that wasn't on Julio. Matt Ryan just... if They got in the red zone, and he stopped looking in his way. If you switched them and put A, B with Matt Ryan and Julio with Big Ben, oh my God. Julio would have 7,000 touchdowns oh my in his God. career. Julio, would, <laughs> Julio might be the greatest player You know what I mean? Time. Now, A, B would still have all the R's, all the receptions, half the touchdowns. That's all. Because Matt Ryan just didn't look at his number one in the red zone. He was too yeah. scared of the double team to just throw it up. Like, dog, he's 6'4". Yeah. Throw it. Julio probably has 200 more receptions, 40 more games played. Um, <laughs> we'll say 3,000, around 3,000 more yards. Um, averages one one yard more per reception, 15 to Tyreek's 14.1. Um, Tyreek does have him beaten touchdown, 76 to 66. And he has that on less than... 42 games. I got to put Julio above Tyreek for me. Okay. We'll put Julio at five. Are we putting Mike Evans above Steve Smith? I would say... I say yeah. Steve Smith might be last on I list. think Steve Smith is last on his list. I do. And that's terrible to say. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make him not good. These are just great receivers. So you put Julio five, then Tyreek, or you got Mike Evans? I got Julio. Oh, I don't know. Mike Evans might be last. I know he has 1,000 yards every year. But look at the quarterbacks he got him with too. He had yeah. terrible quarterbacks. That's another thing. Like that, that Steve matters. Smith had Cam Joe Newton. Flacco. I can't Cam Newton. Joe Flacco's a scrub though. <laughs> Joe Flacco's a gunslinger. He has more touchdowns than Tyreek and Julio as well. A better yard per reception than Julio that had it's 15. It's fucked up that I'm trying to make an argument for a Ravens player to not be last on a list. I know. I like Steve Smith. Mike Evans. I like, like Smith a lot. Who's throwing you the ball matters. And Mike Evans. Yeah. He hasn't he had, even played 10 years yet. He had Tom Brady for two. Two. Two, two years. Three. Two or three. Went went to he's a played bowl. 10 years exactly, my bad. Went to a bowl and lost a bowl, I think, right? And then, then got knocked out of the playoffs. Or, yeah. So, yeah, won a bowl, lost a bowl, got knocked out of the playoffs. So, three years with Tom Brady. But three out, I mean, seven years with Jameis Wait, Winston. Did they, they won against the Chiefs. The Chiefs. And then, who they lose to. I don't know if they lost the bowl. They might have just oh, won and not. got knocked out. Maybe not. It might just be two. So 2019, they had Jameis. 2020s hey, when Tom, 2020s when Tom Brady came in. He threw 30 and 30. You can't throw 60 You're combined right. touchdowns and interceptions without throwing the ball a lot. You're right. Yeah, Brady was there for three years. Okay. So, yeah. How long did he have Jameis for? Do you know? Probably two. Since, uh, I want to say more more than two. He was drafted in what, 14? 16, right? Or no? Jameis well, played in 2019. They were drafted the same year. Yeah, they were drafted the same year. They were one and two. I'll just click on his profile. 15? One, two, three, four, five years. Yeah, until his rookie contract. Five years. What year was he drafted? 15? Yep. Okay. So we were both wrong. James is still trash, though. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> like, you're not acting like James is good. No, I'm not saying James is he good. He had 33 touchdowns to 30 interceptions. He's not so. scared to just let it fly. So who is taking the eighth spot? 
Is it Steve Smith or is it Mike Evans? It might be Steve Smith. It's Steve Smith. I think. So wait, who do you you have Tyreek over Mike Evans though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I that I mean I'm not like I don't love it. <laughs> it's not my favorite I pick think, of the day. I think it's not bad. Six, seven, eight all have an argument to be in any order. Yeah. I mean you could put you could put Mike Evans at six for his every year thousand yards. But in my opinion, I would rather have Tyreek Hill on my team. So, so give us our non blind ranked list. So non blind ranking list. You got T.O. at number one, Megan Tron, Megatron at two, Antonio Brown at three, Larry Fitz at four, Julio Jones five, Tyreek Hill six, Mike Evans seven, and the greatest trash talker to play wide receiver, Steve Smith at number eight. Ice up, son. We get. You think he's the Himarocho? 